We are officially a month away from the release of the Mario movie. As someone who grew up on Mario like majority of the human race, words cannot express how hyped I am for this movie. And, and I just have to talk about it. I just have to. I've been staring at the clock some days just waiting for it to become the release date and I need to find something to do with my time. Without a doubt, the Mario movie is my most anticipated film of the year and I've been thinking about it every day. So let's just talk about why everyone is hyped for this film. <laughs> The biggest elephant in the room is the voice actors in this movie. Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, Anna Taylor Joy as Peach, Seth Rogen as DK, Keegan Michael Key as Toad, and Jack Black as the iconic villain Bowser. Throughout the trailers, we've heard glimpses of their voices, but not a whole lot. Without a doubt, the best voice acting in the film will be Jack Black. His vocal performances have a lot of range, and you can hear him slightly transform his voice to suit the menacing Koopa King. Open the gates! The second best voice in my opinion has to go to Charlie Day. I am a big Always Sunny in Philadelphia fan, and the show the whole gang are assholes, but Charlie Day is more frantic, yet timid of them all, and has the biggest heart. Charlie's Day voice suits Luigi, especially if you just know how Charlie Day is and sounds beforehand. He always sounds a little scared, and that's exactly Luigi. And it's over. This isn't over until I say it's over! God, sorry, okay, relax, dude. What are you talking about? Yes. That's For the third best, it has to go to Anna, by default, because we never really hear Peach talk a lot besides screaming Mario's name. Keegan-Michael Key sounds like he's having a blast as Toad, with a little screechiness we expect from the character. DO NOT TOUCH THAT MUSHROOM, YOU'LL DIE! Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong will probably work because it feels uncanny to- You got the cat box! <laughs> oh my- I'm sorry. Okay. Now you die. But the main attraction here is Chris Pratt as Mario. As the leading man of the games and this movie, it is all on him to make this work. No pressure. There are moments in the trailers where it just sounds like Chris Pratt. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. But there's also moments where it does resemble the plumber we've all come to know. Hopefully we get more of those Mario moments in the final product instead of the Pratt moments. The first official clip that was released during the Game Awards showed us the Mushroom Kingdom. The animation looks lovely, it's vibrant, and has tons of easter eggs to the games. One detail many noticed that also caught my eye on the first viewing of the clip is looking at the way Mario runs. The animators didn't have to go that far, but they did. But the music, oh my god. The soundtrack is looking to pack the music from every Mario game ever made. In this whole clip, you could probably catch the references to so many Mario tracks. Even at the end of the clip when Mario falls over, you hear the ba in the music. You know, the moment when the Koopas stop being depressed and do a little dance. Oh. Here we are! When I reacted to the movie's first trailer, the first thing that came out of my mouth was... That looks great! That animation looks really good! Illumination has that good money, and their animation is always pleasable, but here things look slightly different. The realistic terrains combined with the cartoony Mario characters is a perfect fit. Bowser's fire breath that melts the ice terrains, the bright sunny lighting as Yoshi's run past, the fields, the reddish orange of the desert from Mario Odyssey, the gorgeous many colors and the sparkly look of Rainbow Road. Combine that with their character designs that have a little bit of a unique touch to them, but definitely stay true to the original Original games, this is definitely Illumination's best looking film yet. The Sonic movies are good, but the fact that this is an animated film gives the movie more creative freedom to embrace the wackiness of the Mario games. It's not held back from reality. Mario steps across floating blocks, and if it was live action, Toad would probably have to talk about how the city fuels everything to float or some lame explanation. With it being animated, you can just accept it and move along. Whoa! Okay, so these bricks are just floating here? <laughs> We actually get a different story here. It's obvious from the trailers we won't get to see the classic tale of Mario going to rescue Peach, but instead Mario rescuing his brother. I know this movie will have a lot of laughs, but I'm hoping we get some moments where we see the true bromance of Mario and Luigi. We always get a love story with Mario rescuing Peach and getting that kiss, but we finally are moving away from that, and we have a chance to see new things with the brother relationship between Mario and his younger brother, and it could lead into some sweet and maybe emotional moments for the two plumbers. <laughs> 
At the end of the day, whether you are seeing this for the voice actors, the music, the animation, the story, to see if it's better than the original film, which it definitely will be, Mario as a whole will unite the world together to see this movie. Everyone has played at least one Mario game in their life. Maybe the person beside you in the theater started with the original 1985 classic, and the person a seat above you, his first Mario game was 3D World, and maybe you started on Mario 64 DS, and the usher, she comes in to check and see if the movie's playing okay, and she started with Super Peach Sisters or something. Either way, on the 5th of April, whether the movie is bad or amazing, we can all appreciate how a plumber has brought the world together for one moment to witness a film that looks like it will honor the legacy of the Mario franchise, a game series that is definitely a worldwide phenomenon.